For the safest and cheapest ultimate team coins anywhere, check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxes coming today with another YouTube video and today we have an amazing gameplay. Now I want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Muttrut17. A link to his Twitter will be in the description. He has allowed us to borrow not only the man, the myth, the legend, 99 Calvin Johnson, and I'll show you guys the other person next up but i want to go over stats first 99 calvin johnson with 96 speed 98 catching 96 elusiveness that elusiveness is pretty crazy i honestly didn't think calvin had that high of elusiveness but 99 spec catch 97 release 96 round running 96 catching traffic also has a 99 jumping 79 str strength with a 98 acceleration he also has a run blocking of a 70 but we also have 99 overall khalil mack now, you guys already know I have Ricky Jackson, which you compare to them. Khalil Mack has plus four speed on him, also has plus two excel. A little bit less strength, less tackle, less play rec, but he also has one better block shed. 95 power move, which I've uh, re-reacted to four, I think. So he'll have, I think, 98 power move. And he already has a 98 finesse move and a 97 hit power. Now, we do have to go ahead and, I guess, uh, push these guys into the lineup. Probably going to, I guess, just upgrade them both and then switch some people around. But super excited to use this Calvin Johnson and also Khalil Mack. Now, I gotta say, I wonder who's a better pass rusher, Khalil Mack or Lawrence Taylor. Now, Mack has that under pressure chem, which I think makes it so it's like it's just like a, a farther range for under pressure to kind of activate. So, I, I think this should definitely be an interesting game plan. Now, let's go ahead and throw Andre Reed into the slot, I guess, and then Dez will be our number fourth. So, we definitely have some stacked receivers for this game. But Calvin Johnson now is 99 catching with 99 release, also 99 spectacular catch. Jesus, this card is going to be so good. He also has toughness cam, which I don't think I have. Uh, oh, I actually have tier two of toughness, so he does get a plus one to catch. So, now he has 99 catching, but on the defensive side, we have Khalil Mack. And you take a look at his stats now. He has 99 block shed, 97 power move, 98 tackle. I'm actually trying to move away a little bit from the read and react and kind of move my team more towards the physical front. So that's why my read and react is, you know, falling down to only tier four. But I do have physical front tier three as well now. And I'm trying to make my way up to tier five. If I possibly can, just kind of make some more moves. Maybe get rid of this night train lane, pick up the physical front. And then pick up another free safety, which I already have one in mind. But this is the team that we're going to be using for the gameplay. And I'm so excited to throw the ball to Calvin Johnson. But let's go ahead and get right into the gameplay. All right, so there is his top three players. Mike Singletary, Knight train lane, and Stephon Gilmore. And our top three, Baker, Calvin, and Julio Jones. All right, so starting off on defense, he is LaDainian Tomlinson and Russell Wilson in the backfield. I'm going to be sending Mack on a little blitz this play. Let's see if we can get to the quarterback. And of course, the time that I actually send Mack, it's going to be a run. All right, we're going to be sending some heat at him. He does have Calvin Johnson, uh, Randy Moss, and another Johnson. I'm going to ask Ocho Cinco out there. Hopefully, we're going to get to them, and unfortunately, we're not. All right, Russell Wilson, I know that you can scramble, so I'm kind of worried about that, but he's going to run a draw play here, and we're there with Chase here. He's running a very tight end type heavy set, but he has a wide receiver over there, too. I've never actually seen this formation, I don't think, and it looks like he might be trying to go to the ground. Now, he's running hurry up, so he definitely saw something he liked. So, I'm going to send a little bit more pressure this time and not give him as much time in the pocket. Third and 15. Lawrence Taylor coming in free, getting the sack and the fumble. Unfortunately, can't recover that. All right, so we have the ball on the 35 yard line of, cur of like the first play. We're going to try to go to Calvin Johnson, of course. So, let's see if we can separate him to the outside and maybe get some separation or at least a one on one matchup. Calvin Johnson, go up and get it. And he's going to come down with it 75 yards, or actually 65, but it's whatever, 65-yard touchdown to Calvin Johnson on the first play. All right, second and 12. What can we get going here? Maybe an interception. Oh, night train lane. I really just have to watch out for Russell Wilson here, and hopefully he doesn't try to scramble Khalil Mack. I'm really hoping you can get to the QB here. Two tall Jones. Oh, we had so much pressure there. 
He actually didn't end up keeping his feet in bounds, but he does have Tom Brady back here at punter, so this could definitely be a fake on 4th and 11, and it's actually a real punt. Steve Atwater back here to return this. I definitely do not trust Atwater to try and catch that. There's usually like a glitch whenever I try to do that. Let's see if we can get something going, though. Picking up off the ground, Steve Atwater making people miss. Oh my god, we actually might return this kick. Oh, Atwater. All right, second and 21. Once again, looking to go to Calvin Johnson on a corner route. Looks like he's not going to be open, but Julio Jones is on this little drag. Third and 14. I feel like we might have Julio open down the field. Julio Jones. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my God. Our receivers are godly. Most likely going to be a pass here on first and 10, and it is a play action. Looks like he might have somebody open, but Too Tall Jones is slamming him to the ground. All right, so he only has one rushing yard the entire game, so he's definitely not doing so well in that category as Too Tall is getting another sack back-to-back -back plays. This is why I love having such a good D-line and just linebackers. Lawrence Taylor, Too Tall Jones, Jason Taylor, all of them can rush the quarterback, and that's what I like to see as somehow he finds someone open. All right, Mac Attack, I want to see you get to the quarterback on this play. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen. All right, now let's see if Mac can get to the quarterback on this play, second and two. If you run the ball again, I'm going to be really mad because I'm trying to get you sacked. So just hold in the pocket there, and that Khalil Mack come around the edge for the sack. Third and ten, Khalil Mack once again trying to get a sack, hopefully, and... Oh, that was too tall, but three sacks in the game for too tall. I'm looking for Calvin Johnson on this play. Maybe LaDainian Tomlinson out of the backfield. Doesn't look like either of them are going to be open. Uh, maybe we can get some reroute magic working. Right bumper, LT. Actually, that's Latavius Murray way down the field. Trying to truck someone. And dang, he still is not down. All right, Calvin is on the outside here. Let's see if we can find him open. Maybe one-on-one -on -one coverage. Might want to chuck it up to the outside shoulder. Calvin Johnson not able to even get an animation. All right, third and 10. I guess we'll just take the field goal if we can't pick up this first down here, but I really want to try to pick up the first down. Calvin Johnson over the middle, wide open, high point pass, and he comes down with it. I'm going to run that same play, but this time I'm going to put Calvin on a fade because he's matched up one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and I really like that matchup. Calvin Johnson, go get it! Ah, not able to come down with it. Once again, we're looking at Calvin's side. Basically, when it gets to the goal line, I'm just looking for Calvin, so let's see if we can get open on this route. Calvin Johnson back in the end zone, high point. Yeah, that was in uh, quadruple coverage, definitely not the best read. I'm going to send Keekly on a blitz up the middle, and of course, the play that I do, he actually runs a freaking screen pass. Rod Woodson, though, getting the tackle. Okay, third and three. If he runs the ball, he's pretty crazy here, and he does and doesn't pick up the first down. Fourth and one. I'm actually going to run commit because I don't think that he's going to pass, and he actually runs a fullback dive, and he does not pick it up. I'm going to try to motion out Calvin and hopefully get him on this fade route. Let's see if he can get open or at least in one-on-one -on -one coverage. It looks like he is one-on-one. -on -one. Gonna throw it to the outside. What pass was that? I tried to high point fade that to Calvin, and it kind of was a low pass, I think. So luckily, that was not intercepted. But second and 10, I feel like Julio Jones is going to be open on the corner route, and he was, but I was just a little bit too late. Going to try to scramble here with Baker. Going to just throw that one away. All right, 20 seconds left. Do not be afraid to take the field goal here is definitely what I should be saying, but I really want to get the ball to Calvin Johnson and unfortunately not pick up the first down. So we're going to take the field goal. I'm going to try to do a wide receiver screen here to Calvin. Let's see if the linebacker plays it or if the cornerback does. Doesn't look like he did, so it looks like we might have an open field. Calvin Johnson. Oh man, I'm really trying to take this to the house. Picked up a nice little game though. That would have been an insane catch there by Calvin, but I think he's not even in the game this play. So maybe Julio Jones can get open down the field. If Julio gets down the field and scores a touchdown, I'm going to be mad because Calvin cannot. And are you freaking serious? Overthrown. Third and 10. Once again, I am looking for Calvin Johnson deep. He will get open. Or I might, oh, I might have had wide open. B is wide freaking open. Evan Ingram, how did he even get open that much? All right, Calvin, you already know I'm looking for you. Third and 23. This is your time to shine. Actually, no, it's not because Andre Reed is wide open and he's not going to catch that and then that's going to be intercepted. Perfect. But he has definitely not been able to do anything on offense. He has 29 total yards and only 12 rushing yards on, on uh, I think, seven rushing attempts as he's going to find someone open in the flats here. Apparently, his tight end can just outrun Keekly. Once again, I'm going to be blitzing Keekly, so if it's around the middle, Keekly should be able to get there, or I'm going to bait him into throwing to his tight end here, and he does a smart thing. He actually scrambles here. Russell Wilson thought maybe he would get the fumble. 
Night Train Lane actually has three tackles, so he's doing pretty good for a cornerback out there in terms of tackling. But once again, only a minute left in third quarter, and this guy is down by more than two possessions, so he really needs to get down the field here as he finds Randy Moss wide open. Holy crap, Rod Woodson, you got toasted, man. This might be a pretty good play for Calvin Johnson, hitting me on this kind of drag where he has to motion. Let's see if I can hit him, and it looks like I can find him open. That almost got intercepted, though. All right, third and nine. Let's see who can be open on this play. Calvin maybe looks like why Andre Reed way down the field. Hit a little spin, stay in bounds, juke out someone. What a play, Andre. I'm going to try to motion Calvin to the outside here, but it is a bench route, so hopefully he's able to get open. I'm basically staring down Calvin Johnson. If he's not open, I'm probably just going to throw this one away. Ah, uh, he was barely open. Andre Reed, though, can he turn up field pick of the first down? I think he might have. Andre Reed really coming in clutch here, but first and 10 all the way down at the 20-yard line. Calvin Johnson is not going to be open. So we're going to scramble here with Baker. Slide. Broke a tackle. We're either looking for Calvin here or Dez. So let's see who's going to open first. Looks like Julio Jones is going to get open for the touchdown. 7-24 to with only three minutes left. I like my chances of winning this game, especially if we can get another sack here, and we do. I'm actually going to user Khalil Mack here. I really want to see him put up some big numbers. So let's see if I can use her and maybe get a sack. Khalil Mack getting off and getting a pressure, and unfortunately, no interception. Come on, Mack Daddy. You got to get a sack here. It's fourth quarter which means that i think his clutch uh, ability should be activated if he tries to chuck a deep mole over that night train lane with the interception possibly a pick six and yeah not a pick six but a great pick okay i'm gonna try to motion him out a little bit so he gets a little bit more separation from lawrence taylor and see if he can beat stefan gilmore on this out route looks like he's going to calvin stick your foot in the ground Pick up a little bit of yardage. All right, Calvin, this may be your final chance to get into the end zone. Calvin Johnson, high point fade, come down with it. And he did. Calvin Johnson finally gets a touchdown. You see what happens when I don't use her a middle linebacker over the middle? He just has a field day, basically. But Khalil Mack finally getting off a block, and I think he's just too tired to run really fast. Come on, Mac. I'm trying to get a sack, man. Just get some stats up on the board. And Ryan Shazier does actually end up getting the interception here. Tried to return for a pick six, but he is dead tired. All right, so this might be the last play of the game. We're going to try to just chuck it up to Calvin Johnson and see if he can go over someone and just absolutely teabag them. One-on-one -on -one to find Gilmore. And unfortunately, that's going to be the interception. All right, so overall... Baker Mayfield went 16 for 30 with 391 yards and four touchdowns with three interceptions, but at least he had four touchdowns. Rushing wise, uh, we actually didn't run one time with LaDainian Thompson. That's pretty crazy. Receiving wise though, Calvin Johnson had eight catches, 139 yards and two touchdowns. He actually had another touchdown. I thought he only had one. I guess he had two. Julio Jones also had three catches for 83 yards and two touchdowns. Andre Reid, two for 64. Evan Ingram, 256. And Latavius Murray had one for 49. Then when it comes to defensively, it looks like, I'm trying to see how many tackles uh, Khalil Mack had. He only had one tackle, and he actually did have a sack as well. Maybe dang, I must have really missed that. But Mack had a sack and also De or Des Bryant. Calvin Johnson had two touchdowns. So if you guys enjoyed the video, Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Once again, thank you to Mutt Ruff for letting me use his cards. And if you guys want to see some more gameplays, make sure to let me know down below who you guys want to see. And I will see you guys next time.